Okay, so uh, I briefly mentioned a couple of nights ago the idea of heating degree days when I was doing the weather, mm -hmm. and I got several emails that people were like, well, not so fast. <laughs> what is that, and, and how does it apply to my heating bill? So we're going to take a little bit more time than I had before to do that. Okay, Let's okay. get my creepy face out of here. It's, it's, <laughs> so, the faster the better. Yeah. Well, like <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. So this is average heating and cooling degree days. Um, across the United States. So just to recap here, a heating degree day is if your average temperature is below 65 degrees, so high and low average together, and a cooling degree day is if it's above. So assuming that you would need to do cooling and the other assuming you need to do heating. So you can see that obviously Maine and in through North Dakota are some of the highest heating degree places. Sure. So we need the most amount of fuel in the country. Now let's quickly show you how we calculate all of that. So take yesterday, a high 37, a low of 19, the average temperature is 28. Take 65 minus 28, that's 37 de seven heating degree days or HDDs. So far this year we're at 4,216. Our average is 4,668 normally, so we're running well below average. And the record for this date is 5,636 in 1977. Wow. So this has a direct correlation to how much you are spending on heating fuel and so it's something you can look up online you might be interested to know but we're running obviously below average so far okay Fair save enough. a little cash yeah it's nice and not positive. too many people complaining about that yeah. right exactly